Hey y'all, it's Turquoise. Welcome back to another build here on my channel. So, this build is in Ravenwood. And I tried to use as much of life and death as possible for this build. Because this is the house for my life and death let's play that I'm going to start here on the channel. I've been wanting to play with everything for life with life and death for a while now. And I'm just, oh, I am so ready to start playing with it. I made three sims, so this house has three bedrooms, it has, I think, two, it's two or three bathrooms, I can't remember, <laughs> but I also included kind of a, like, greenhouse space up top, kind of in the attic for one of my sims, because I thought it'd be kind of cute if she had, like, attic access, like, through her room, kind of, and that's kind of what I did. But yeah, I just, I've been wanting to play with this pack. I want to play with everything Life and Death has to offer. And it doesn't really go into any of the other series I'm playing with or any other saves I'm playing with. So, figured I'd start a whole Life and Death uh, kind of save. Here I am trying to put some roofing on rounded parts only to realize you can't roof. Well, you can't fence rounded parts, which kind of sucks. But I figured it out. It's fine. And then roofing, the roof actually ended up a lot better than I thought it was. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, this house ended up looking a lot better than I thought it would. And I tried to incorporate as much of life and death as I could. So columns, staircases, fencing, wallpaper, roofing, like so much life and death is in this pack. And it's just, I love this house. I actually decided to make the kind of top part kind of a greenhouse kind of thing because we got like the old greenhouse windows and like the new um, like glass panel roof with uh, this pack and so I decided to do that. But yeah, I, I love this house. This is maybe one of my favorite houses I've built so far. I say that about almost every house I've built, almost. But I don't know, I just, I really like this one. It, like if I was to build a house for like the goths using life and death i feel like it would look a lot like this house probably a little bit more macabre than i actually made this house but it's fine all right and i just oh, i love it so much i also i just i love like the stone on the outside though because it actually goes with like corners now like it's one of the only ones that like fits with the corners so many of the like stone wallpapers to go outside do not like fix at corners and you have to like go through all these different things to fix them but yeah uh it took me a little bit to figure out what i wanted to do for a layout of this because i kind of wanted a big kind of kitchen and dining area then i wanted a nice like living area because well it's life and death so you need a living area and then it was kind of figuring out the top the second floor was a lot easier to figure out in terms of where the bathrooms would go, where the bedrooms would go. It did take me a second to figure out where this ladder was gonna go. But depending on where the ladder went, help me figure out which sim gets which room. Because I want the ladder to go in Ophelia's room. Cause I feel like she's gonna be more of the sim I play with. I plan on playing with her probably more cause I'm gonna put her in the Reaper career. That's an active career, all of that. She's gonna be the one that I want to have, have a baby with the Grim Reaper, right? Like, I have plans for her. I have more plans for her than I have for her sister. So it's fine, all right? But don't get me wrong, I also gave Lilith a pretty nice room as well. And then their mom also got a really good room. Even though I don't expect the mom to be alive for too, too long, like I said, she's here so that way I I literally added their mom to the household so that way I could experience kind of the newish elder death. I mean, it's the same elder death dying of old age, but now they actually will die in bed if they're asleep. They won't just get up out of bed and fall to the ground. No, they'll actually pass in their sleep, which is honestly a more peaceful way of going. A much more peaceful way of going. But I just have a lot of ideas for uh, the save. I literally have a little checklist like in a notebook for it of what I want to happen. I mean, 
Other stuff's probably going to happen outside of what's on my checklist because it's The Sims and the game doesn't always like to agree with me. I mean, knowing my luck, Ophelia will die before Lilith. <laughs> knowing my luck. But, yeah. Uh, I love all the new little wallpapers that came with this pack. I mean, they're so cute. Like, they come in, like, the dark blue, the black. There's a dark, kind of a dark green one. And then, like, a white one. It's... This pack came with a lot more for, like, fixing up a house than I thought it would which kind of makes me want to go through and redo the goths house but using life and death because I feel like everything for this pack would perfectly work for the goths house okay so yeah like uh leave a comment below if you guys think I should kind of revamp the goths house using life and death because if there's a pack to work on the goths house it's this one I mean the goth family is literally if I'm right they're inspired by the adams family and if you think of the house family, you think of this very macabre looking house, like very old money, like holes in the roof kind of thing, torture devices, but we're not going to add any of those. I mean, come on. It's The Sims 4, right? But yeah, I just, I really like this house. I don't really have a story for why they'd be living in a house like this. I've been trying to think of kind of a backstory for them. Like... How did, like, obviously she's a single mom to her twin daughters, Lilith and Ophelia. But, like, what did Dahlia do before? Like, I have her have the painting aspiration, so I might put her in the painting crew for a little while. So that way she can get us some more money because I have a feeling the bills in this house are probably going to be expensive. Right? And I am getting them a cat. They will have a black cat. I've decided there will be a black cat. Okay? There's no black cat. I also love those little like tarot card things, especially the one about Hilda. I love that. But anyway, I've just kind of been thinking. And I also think it's funny that this lot, it, off lot, there's like a little uh, telescope. So really, this house is kind of set up to be a death trap. I have a crow that could die by fire. There's a telescope to die by a meteor. I also love putting the little freezer bony. I didn't know how I wanted to decorate everything. I wanted to add a lot of stuff from Life and Death, but I didn't really know what I wanted to put in the kitchen. I ended up decorating it a little bit, but not much, okay? Not much. And yeah, I just, I'm really looking forward to playing this series and I hope you guys are looking forward to the series as well. I'll probably stop talking here because I don't think I have anything else to say and let you guys just enjoy the rest of this build. I had a lot of fun making it. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing in it. But uh, go ahead and leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. And if you're looking forward to this new Life and Death series, go ahead and subscribe so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.